guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and in this video, we're just going to quickly go over what everybody has been talking about over the past couple days about HiveOS being hacked, and I just want to clarify a few things and make sure that you, the end user, understands. In my personal opinion, this is not really a hack. It's just an exploit that an attacker is using to exploit naive end users, and I'm sorry if you're one of those end users, but really, you should be making sure that there is no default credentials on any of the devices not only that you're mining with but on your network or otherwise first off son of a tech did a really great job of covering this topic let's go ahead and give that a like um, if you want to get a little bit more in depth or technical feel free to check out this video i'll have it linked down in the description i don't agree with some of the news or articles titles that they're using for example this one um, even though hackread.com is a website that I've, I've utilized in the past Malware hits HiveOS crypto mining users steals funds from wallets. It's not really stealing funds from wallets. It's actually rerouting or just replacing the wallet that you would have set with their own. So you're just mining to their wallet. They're not really stealing from your own wallet. Um, Secure Honey uh, provided us some information, but I just want to clarify that because there were some updates on the day of filming, which is right now, uh, June or July 11th. Uh, and then we want to clarify that the attack described in the article is deployed via a weak authentication via SSH, okay? So it's because the end user is utilizing the stock guide and not optimizing or changing anything for security. To reduce the risk of this threat, you should strengthen the security of your HiveOS mining rigs by using a strong SSH password or... Even better, disable SSH password authentication completely and use the public key authentication instead. Uh, additionally, since the articles or since this information has been provided, uh, Virus Total and Kapersky has now marked or can now see this exploit and can stop it. Uh, the attack's modus operandi changes the wallet configuration of HiveOS to ensure that the attacker receives all the mine coins. Changing the config file back won't help the attack or won't stop the attack since the malware regularly updates the file. I believe it's every 30 minutes. But basically how the attack works in a gist is it's using a insecure or default SSH password or credentials that you would have set up following the HiveOS guide. And if you don't set up a strong password or something like that, that's how they can gain entry. And then they update the SSH username and password. So they, they, they basically update that. And then they also run uh, a way to... Um, a script that allows them to install DOS to Unix, a tool that converts line breaks from DOS format to Unix. The attack then downloads a bash dropper script uh, called DW. And here are the files here. You can see them all right here. A.sh, as.service, DW, rc.local, wallet underscore etc dot config. So they, they have a wallet config for etc and Ethereum, depending on which one you're mining. And then they're able to alter that. Now, if I go further down, and I'll have everything linked down in the description, I just want to go over a few things here. Don't just uh, assume that if you delete the files, it will be okay. It won't. You have to get rid of the user, okay? So first off, you want to run the command service as stop uh, for those particular uh, files. And they give you the whole everything right here. Like I said, it's right down here. Those are all the files. But then you need to check the bash dropper for file DW uh, for the correct service name to use. You also want to remove the user that was added in the malicious bash script. And that user will be different depending on your machine. Uh, the, the attacker may not use the same username. For example, this, this one used H5, but it may be something different. So you want to use the command user delete or DEL for user delete space and then the username to get rid of that user but we first want to stop all the services if you want the full nitty-gritty step-by-step check the links down below and then you want to get rid of the user once you get rid of the user um, then you are safe to switch the wallet back but just bear in mind if you don't remove the user the attack the attacker can still log into your rigs and control it again so they'll just come back change the wallet again, download what they need to, install what they need to, and then we're back to square one. Once you've done all that, uh, you can change your HiveOS wallet config back to its original state. Uh, additionally, when you SSH into your rig, or if, actually if you're using SSH at all for anything, you should not be using the default credentials. Default credentials are posted online publicly for everybody else to see. 
So if they can gain entry onto your network because it's a public network or otherwise, that is very bad. Change your password by entering the following command in the terminal. And then there's a the command right there, pass WD. And then enter in the new password. So never ever use default credentials for anything. That That's not just for Hive, okay? And I don't want everybody pointing their fingers at Hive, blaming them for the situation. Because realistically, there's exploits for everything out there, okay? There's exploits for your Android phone, for your iPhone, for your Mac, for your Linux system, for your Windows system. It's just a matter of how it's executed. And if you make it super easy for them because you have a public network that doesn't have really strong encryption or security, it's not behind a firewall or anything like that, you're just using your basic ISP firewall, yeah, they, they'll be able to get through that and then they'll be able to do what they need to on the back end to access your devices, especially if you're using default credentials on those as well. So when it comes to default credentials, please change them, whether it's your network, your firewall, Hive, everything. Everything that you own should not have any default credentials whatsoever. So again, everything's going to be linked down in the description below. If you want to reach or kind of get a better technical analysis of this situation, I would check out Son of a Tech. I was actually talking to him in Discord while I was researching some of it, um, and he does a better job of explaining it. But that's going to do it for me today. Please do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notifications to stay up to date on what we're doing. And uh, check out some of the links down in the description below. Help support the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Like to dojelord.com where you get a sweet merch like this from the Savage Mind Collection. And you guys have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you next one. Mm -hmm.